we Muslims have not got another Christ. There is only one Christ and that is Jesus Christ. So, where do we get this idea from about Jesus and the Christ? We go to the, our book of authority, the Muslim. He goes to the Holy Quran. And I mention about Jesus. The Jesus is mentioned in this volume 500% more times than Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Something unimaginable. You can't imagine. A man goes and writes a book and he, he, he keeps himself out of it. He's promoting Jesus. Jesus 500% more time than himself. Does it make sense? Which writer, which biographer, authority writer will do a thing like that? No, no. This is not his work. If it was his work, then naturally he would have promoted himself. But now I said 500% more times. is mentioned in the Quran five times total. Four times as Muhammad and one time as Ahmad, which is an, an alternative way of naming of the Prophet. Altogether, five. Jesus, 25. Amazing, this book. When I tell you this, another mighty messenger of God, Hazrat Musa, alayhi salam, we call him Moses, the holy prophet Moses. I can't imagine anybody guessing. How many times is he mentioned in this book? The prophet of the Jews. No, no, he's our prophet. But the so-called, they say he's the prophet of the Jews. All right, the prophet of the Jews. How many times is Moses mentioned in this book? 136 times the holy prophet Moses is mentioned in this book. And you people are thinking that we are the antichrist, we are the anti-Jews. This book is not anti-Jews nor anti-Christian. You are misled, doing injustice to this book. Obtain a book. Muslims and non-Muslims, you need this. You need this. To the Christians I say, even if you want to fight the Muslims, you need this book. Because this book will tell you now how the Muslims are thinking. So you can plan your strategies. So the Muslim needs it. And to the Muslim I'm suggesting that get this volume as quick as possible. It's the best investment you can make in your life.